I wish that I knew that we were going to be on Zoom for an entire year. Wish I knew that. What's up guys, it is your boy Jerome back at it with another video. While getting your MBA is not as common as it used to be, it is still a great opportunity and you could nearly double your salary in just two years. But more than that, it is an opportunity to create lifelong relationships with students from all over the world who could one day lead you to your next career move or even help you start up a new company or maybe even invest in one that you're working for. But a lot of times these schools, when they're pitching their MBA programs to prospective students, they focus too much on the numbers and what kind of job opportunities there are outside of school. So I'm here to kind of give you the things that I wish I had known coming into this program. Number one, your grades really don't matter like you think they do. Yes, there are still assignments and tests, and yes, you do still have to do the work, but your grades really don't matter like they used to in undergrad. At UNC, for example, we have a pass-fail system that consists of four possible grades. You have an H, which is a high pass, which the top 20% of the class gets. Then you have a P, which just stands for pass, that the next 75% of the class gets. Then you have an L, which is still a low pass that the bottom 5% of the class gets. And for the four or five students that decide not to do any assignments for the class, we have an F or a fail. The catch here is that there's no real repercussions for getting an L. Well, at least one L per semester. 95% of the class is getting either a pass or a high pass, so it's already really difficult to get a low pass. And on top of that, it's almost virtually impossible to get an F. You literally have to just not submit any assignments. And did I mention that there's no GPA, so no one's actually keeping track of the grades that you get? At the MBA level, there's a silent agreement between the professors and students that what you get out of the program is what you put into it and what you want to get out of the program. The professors aren't there to hold your hand through the class and make sure that you get good grades. They're there to just give you their knowledge and experience from working and it's up to you whether or not you listen or actually absorb any of that information. If you want to learn that material because you think it will be good to know in your future career, then it's on you to learn it, which I think is a great way to teach people accountability. Number two, you're going to learn a ton of stuff in a very, very short amount of time. At UNC, our semesters are broken up into two modules each. So four total modules in a year. Each of these mods are about seven or eight weeks and you're gonna be taking a new set of five or six classes every single mod. That means for classes that meet twice a week, you're gonna only have 14 class meetings, and sometimes there are classes that only meet once a week that you're only going to meet seven times in the entire semester. These mods go by super fast, but I think it's a great way to give you a lot of exposure on a lot of different topics, and it's part of the MBA culture to create a more well-rounded student. Number three, alumni are incredibly helpful. Before I started this MBA program, I don't really think I had spoken to a single alumni in any sort of professional setting. I really didn't think it mattered that much. What were they going to do to help me? Boy, was I wrong. During the recruiting process, you're going to be talking to a ton of alumni from your MBA program. And what I found during that process was that every single person is willing to move mountains to make sure that more UNC students end up at their firms. It's actually pretty incredible and I've never had this many strangers work so hard to help me than during this MBA program. And now I feel a part of the community too and it makes me want to give back to the next class for when I graduate. 
And between us, I can tell you, I definitely did not feel that way after I graduated from my undergrad. Number four, what in the hail is a coffee chat? I think I've said this on my channel multiple times already, but am I the only one that had no idea what the hell a coffee chat was? Well, for those of you in the same boat as me, a coffee chat is, well, exactly what it sounds like. You basically grab a cup of coffee or a drink or whatever and sit down with an alumni at a potential company that you want to recruit with or you want to work for. And basically the whole point of this conversation is for you to get a better understanding of what the firm does, what their culture is like, what their employees are like. And on the flip side, the company or the employee that you're talking to gets a little bit of an idea of who you are and whether you would be a good fit at their firm. It's actually an incredibly useful networking tool. And for those of us that have never networked before, once you do enough of these, it kind of normalizes that process and you get a lot more comfortable just talking to people. These coffee chats are a really good way to get your foot into the door for any potential interview opportunities. So make sure you do as many of them as you possibly can while you're recruiting for that summer internship or for a full-time job. Number five, it's going to be the most stressful and amazing time in your life, and it is going to fly by. Your business school experience is gonna be full of emotions. You're gonna be stressed about classes, about recruiting, about rejection letters, but you're gonna be absolutely ecstatic when you find out that you got that H, or you got invited to an interview, or when you finally get that offer letter. You're gonna make lifelong friends who are all so talented in so many different things and who are gonna be willing to help you get through business school when the times are tough and to celebrate when the times are great. And I know, two years seems like a really, really long time, but before you know it, you're gonna be staring that last semester of business school right in the eyes like I'm doing right now and you're gonna just think back on all of those memories and just want it to last forever. So don't have any regrets. Make sure to live it to the fullest you possibly can. Thank you all for watching this video. Going back to business school is a very tough decision, but I think if you're willing to put in the work for it, it is still an amazing opportunity to pursue. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends. As always, I'm Jerome with all things tech and finance and sometimes NBA related, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.